Hello. This research is looking at how to power wireless sensor nodes. Wireless sensor nodes are devices with sensors, a microprocessor and a radio transceiver and they allow you to monitor um, parameters in the environment and transmit them back to a central data collection point. At the moment these devices are powered by batteries um, and this is quite unattractive because batteries need to be replaced when they're depleted and when there are lots of devices deployed um, this can be extremely time consuming and expensive. So because batteries are, are quite limited um, we're looking at using energy harvesting to power sensor nodes. Energy harvesting is a technique of using energy from the environment to power local devices such as sensor nodes. So what this means is that you can um, power your sensor node from light, from vibration, even from temperature difference. And this means that you don't need to keep replacing the batteries. So what we've developed um, is a plug and play system and it allows you to look at how much energy you've got in your environment and to connect appropriate energy harvesting devices to your sensor node. This is quite attractive because um, you can use a single type of sensor node and this can just be adapted to use uh, whatever energy is available. So the demonstration system we have developed allows you to connect up to six different energy devices to power your sensor node. So these may be energy harvesters, energy storage devices or mains electricity. It allows the microcontroller to see both how much energy is stored and how much power is coming in in order to decide its activity level. It's truly plug and play. It allows you to um, just connect up an appropriate energy module and it will recognise that module and allow the sensor node to interface with it. So for example, the process of uh, replacing a supercapacitor with some rechargeable batteries is as simple as disconnecting the supercapacitor module and connecting in the rechargeable battery module. So the sensor node is monitoring each of these devices. It picks up the fact that the supercapacitor module has been disconnected and it also recognises that a rechargeable battery module has been connected to the system. So the system uses a common hardware interface. It means that each of the energy modules can be connected to any of the sockets on the energy multiplexer module. And the embedded software on the sensor node allows it to interface with any of the energy hardware and it means that the software does not need to be changed when you change your energy devices. So each of these modules has a memory which stores its operating parameters and this allows the sensor node to translate any measurements that it makes about the module into estimates of power generated or energy stored.